Okay, today I'm going to share with you the price to pay for the missionary journey. Alright? Okay, yeah, the price to pay for the missionary journey. The price to pay to share the, the, or the opportunity to share the gospel. Huh? Uh, I examined through the entire book of Acts, and in particular, today we're going to share on chapter 27 and 28. Huh? We can see that Paul paid a very high price for sharing the gospel. So, what we can learn today is that uh, when we ever have the chance uh, to touch on the word of God, to minister the word of God, there will always be a high price to pay. Alright? And you know that the uh, end event in uh, chapter 8, uh, Paul was in prison under house arrest. Alright? And, uh, and he was guarded by, you know, and he was in house arrest in prison, and yet he preached the gospel to those who visited him. Uh, Visited him. So you can see that the, the goal in our life is to share the gospel. All right? So it's a high price. So the Saturday, you know, we have ministry and we are praying for uh, people to come. That's how we sang the song like little by little we we gave the ground. Okay, we did the little by little we did the spiritual battle, like little by little we gave the territory, we gave the ground. So one soul by one soul, the good ones we bring in to nurture them, to be partners together with God's kingdom. So, we, you know, we have the discipleship program, I think uh, the different ones are excited to the video, right? So every week I give them one lesson to teach, uh, and they are excited, in fact, they prepare, alright, and then they go extra. So it is a very good uh, situation because the opportunity to share the gospel. And then, uh, but we don't have to be like Paul to be in prison to share the gospel. Right? We are still free. But uh, whatever the case be, there is the price we have to pay, and usually the high price for the opportunity given to us to share the word, to minister the gospel. So we have to have, please understand that this concept, uh, behind that there is a spiritual warfare, little by little we are gaining ground. Little by little, we know behind that there is spiritual warfare. Right? So when God gives us open doors for us to be able to share the gospel, especially zero into the elect, those who are serious for God, huh? and uh, we should uh, 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 pay for the opportunity. Okay, sometimes very high price. Meaning you have to sacrifice your time, your sleep, your preparation, your money, etc., just for God's given opportunity. All right. And these are the golden time that the opportunity we have, uh, where we still have the opportunity to share the gospel. You know, the door is open, right? And, uh, you know, Tuesday, you know, you can go out uh, without mass. I believe that we can share the gospel, right? For a long time, we didn't go door to door, except we friend. But we went to go and uh, preach the gospel, right? And the golden opportunity, we also have the time to bring in the soul. You know, uh, Ever since we shifted here, we went to Canberra, we had the servers people from Canberra uh, here. In fact, quite a number, right? We can adhere to the, the U side, the right? Our Lester family, we had uh, Chen Xian and uh, different ones. Uh. So we do have some result. So we are going back to Canberra and to share the gospel. Uh. So now the door is open. In the midst of the, the, the war is going on, uh, we don't know how, this war, as I say, that possibly will lead to the that is become positive after the war. And then, but we don't have much opportunity, right? Not many years from now. But what we can do is we're waiting for the rapture, right? Before the rapture comes, we continue to preach the gospel, okay, until Christ returns us. So, this is a golden opportunity God has given us to worship, to praise Him, to sing song, to attend service. And in the midst of all this, there is COVID, uh, Delta, Omicron. In, uh, in front, you know, and then. But the Bible says the plague will strike uh, more and more, right, in the days to come, uh, right? So we have to watch for all these uh, now. Uh, we uh, here have the opportunity to share the gospel, we make full use of it, uh, right? So there's a high price to pay. And you look into the life of Paul, uh, there is a very high price to pay, right? So, so the price to pay for sharing the gospel, uh, and uh, so in the book of this act, uh, chapter 27 uh, and 20, uh, we know that Paul, uh, after seeing King Agrippa, and then he is uh, on the ship to Rome, okay, to appeal to Caesar, the Roman Emperor. And while on the journey of this ship, uh, 
And Paul advised the pilot, okay, and the Roman centurion who look after the ship. He say, uh, don't go by, you know, the journey because it's dangerous. But he did. He, he, uh, he didn't listen to me. He did. The centurion did not listen to Paul, but rather he listened to the pilot of the ship. And he went ahead and he met in danger. He uh, ran and the storm and all that. So the, the expert is not always right. Okay? It doesn't mean someone you're expert in a certain area, they are always right. No, not necessarily. In this particular context, Paul was right. right? Paul was right because he told them not to move on, but he went ahead and encountered a storm. But by the grace of God, God protected the whole lot, 176 of them, and he not uh, encounter sheep ran and died. All right? So uh, because Paul was there, it was a blessing. If Paul died, all would die, right? But, but God preserved Paul, he, he didn't uh, want Paul to die, so the people along with him didn't die. So we are here to be a blessing. When we are there, God's presence is there. And, uh, you know, last Friday we talked about the Radio St. Church, right? Where God knocked at their door, right? At the top of the church, and I think God was not inside the church. Although the church was very big, very rich, very powerful, but God was not inside the church. Right? God was outside the church. I mean, God is not in the church. So the church is without the presence of God. So in this case, uh, because in the midst of a uh, big storm, uh, but because God's presence was there, and if God's presence was there, so the storm uh, didn't uh, affect them. Okay? So when God's presence is there, all right, when God's presence is there, you don't need to worry, no fear. Okay? God will protect you and protect us. And even in this Omicron, uh, when God is in the midst of God, He protect you, he, you know, He protect you from Omicron. He protect you from all harms and evil. Alright? So with the presence of God, there is protection and there is power. So in this case, uh, expert advice is not always right. And not everyone will accept sound advice. Not everyone. Huh? So you know that sometimes we give very good advice to people that uh, they simply don't listen. They just want to choose their own way. For this case, if you choose their own way, if it's not sound advice, then you will encounter a storm. Right? And you even and the, and the result will be disastrous, right? Okay, then, because of the not listening to good advice, encounter there's a loss of a lot of time, a lot of worries, desperation, despair, and loss of possessions, and have gone without food. So because of the new advice, and then they result in many losses, right, but almost their life. Right. So a good advice is very important uh, so that you can tread on the right path and the wrong path. We, we know that uh, the, 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 whole, uh, the most powerful book is the Bible. There's no other book. Okay? Uh, not even uh, any field. No, none. Okay? Astronaut, all these, uh, all these are good things, not bad things. Okay? But science, all these are good. But the Bible is the most powerful. Right? Only the Bible because everything must rest on the Word of God. So, and because of new advice, they encountered a storm, and then they many days live in darkness and without food. And uh, of course, God is gracious. Uh, he spoke to an angel of the Lord to Paul. He said, uh, Don't worry, the people will be saved uh, with you, and you will meet Caesar in Rome. Right? So, in the journey of the sheep, uh, they didn't die. They didn't die. But of course, they suffer. Why do they suffer? Because they knew advice, they went the wrong path. When they went the wrong path in life, uh, you suffer many difficulties, right? But that also means that when you're on the right path, because uh, interestingly, I just asked me, how do you know sometimes uh, you're going through some kind of trial? Is it from Satan or from God? That's a good question, right? So in this case, uh, this one in you advice, okay, it's a whole foolishness. That's one, right? Okay, the second thing is, Paul, even though uh, he was on the right path, yet he suffered many hardship, whatever. So you have to see uh, uh, where are you where are you coming from? The trial come from I mean you are actually buffeted by Satan or you are actually under the trial of God, right? Under the test of God. Right? So so you have to be able to differentiate but I try to guarantee you the Christian term uh, and the path uh, to the journey of this mission uh, you know, is not a path. Meaning to say you encounter many parts. Because it's necessary because suffering uh, is a process of sanctification. Because suffering is a process of cleansing, and suffering is a process of testing whether you are faith in journey. So suffering is necessary, hardship, not out of wisdom, but out of wisdom. 
and now our love for God. Huh? And today we are here, it's now our love for God to come here, sacrifice. Right? Many would rather sleep at home than watch online or maybe an offline. <laughs> right? Alright? So you see that the problem is that online, yeah, the people are so comfortable with online and it's not going on site in church. Yeah. They are not comfortable really. Alright? Yeah. So so there's a danger. Alright? And then all this situation uh, affected many people not going to church and stop going to church. Okay, so the Bible says that during at any time, uh, before Jesus came back, there will be a great apostasy. Meaning to say there will be a great rebellion that means uh, they will be a lot turning away from God. So this is the time. Okay, that many people will turn away from God. Alright? And only a few random. Uh, Alright? Okay. So but anyway, whatever the case, be little by little we will gain ground. The spiritual battle we will bring in one soul, one after another, and zero in up to them. Alright? But having said that even if you're zeroing your them, uh, sometimes after staying years later you still do us. Okay, but you have to be prepared for that. Alright? So but it's not all a bad roses. Okay, but as many starfish, uh, we can save and throw back the sea and life. We will do that. Right? But even then, not all will be alive. Okay? So I, I let you know, eh? because Jesus got 12 disciples, eh? only 12 of the betrayed into the is killed. Alright? And Paul only have a few, eh? and then we have the missionary part that he must forsook him. Eh? Alright? So this is a very real thing. So, and then don't be disappointed when the time comes, eh? just to be back. Okay? And, uh, but just uh, nothing be affected. Okay? In the Old Testament, the kings failed, but yet the kingdom of God expand. And Judah failed, demons failed, yet the kingdom of God expand. So God, a kingdom is not rest on man. It rest on its power. Okay, and it will continue to spread. Okay. So, and then but in the midst of uh, new advice, but God turned it around to save the people. And same time when he was in other Hara and people visiting him, he shared the gospel and so he saved. So they unfortunately afforded him, including imprisonment, including beaten, stoned, and the rock, all this. And this is the price that he has paid uh, for preaching the gospel, the unfortunate thing. So the opportunity that we can treasure it because it's not even the opportunity, but you have to be a kind of sacrifice of time, okay, sleep, and uh, hours to prepare, and so on. Uh. So this is the nature of the ministry. And uh, you, you just will see that you, you, you love. Huh? And even then, we know that uh, chapter 28, when he arrived at the, the mortar of the island, right? And then, you know why God allowed the snake to wrap around him, right? But the snake didn't bite him, right? Huh? They thought he would die like a ogre. But they say he's a murderer, you know, he would die. You know, he escaped the sheep, sheep right now, and then, but he was certainly cannot escape the snake. But God, Protecting him. And through the unfortunately of the snake, they thought he was God and then attracted the chief of the island. Alright, and then uh, give it with that provision, that's where the supply was provided, right? And then, and then he healed because of the kindness. And then uh, Paul healed the father of the chief, right? And was healed, and then with more people come forward and be healed and even an ample supply uh, for the provisions for the late journey, right? Now. Okay. So you can see all these things work out for good, huh? but God is in control. God will bring provision like we started the church from zero, and then how we went through, and until today, uh, little by little, we are getting around. And in, a, in the seven churches, uh, uh, this, uh, last Friday we studied about the churches, uh, the church of Sani is very rich, but only a few people are good. And then we studied the book of Radio Sia Church. Uh, such a big church, uh, a powerful, materialistic, and wealthy church. Uh, and God say, uh, you better repent. If not, uh, I will shut the. You know, you better repent before the Lord is shut for you. Uh, eternally. Uh, right? So, and God will say, He will remove the lamp seven in the church. Uh, if you don't uh, adhere to God's will, to God's teaching. Uh. So, the church is not measured by the uh, building, not measured by the wealth, it's measured by the quality. Alright, and the love for God. Okay, so that's a true church. And the two churches that happen to be very small, the Smyrna and the Church of Philadelphia, out of the seven, right? These are the smallest ones, but these are the most powerful ones. And uh, commanded by God. Okay, so, and, uh, so this is the story of the true story, yeah? About the chapter 37. Okay, let's look at the. <coughs> 
Okay, let's look at uh, chapter 27, verse 1. Huh? And it was decided that he was to sail for Italy, and Paul and some other prisoners were handed over to the centurion and Julius. Okay, and belongs to the Imperial Regiment. And uh, they boarded a ship, okay, and set sail to the coast of the, of the province of Asia, all right, and, uh, and this brother, Aristarchus, they can see that this is a brother that he did, right, in one of the episodes. And a Macedonian, a Macedonian, eh, is a Gentile from Thessalonica with us. And the next day, we landed at Sidon, and they were allowed, the Chinese, to allow to go to his friend so that he may provide for his need. And from there, he descended up again to the sea, okay, and then he encountered a, a wind, a strong wind. And when we had sailed across the open sea to Sicilia, Pantilia, we landed at uh, Mira, by Mira, and found a centurion, found an Islander ship sailing for Italy and put us on, the, on, on board. <coughs> We made slow headway for many days and difficulty arrived. Right? When the wind did not allow us to hold our call, we sailed to the lee of a creek opposite and so on. Now we moved along the coast with difficulty and came to a place called Fair Haven, but even, right? and a town, and much time had been lost, and sailing had already become dangerous because. Now it was after the day of Roman Paul. Then he said, What man, I can see that our voyage is going to be disastrous and bring great loss to the ship and cargo to our own lives also. But the century, instead of listening to Paul, follow the advice of the pilot of the owner of the ship. Since the harbor was still overweight, the majority decided that we should set sail on, hoping to reach the next and the harbour, freezing and so on. Huh? So you can see that they rather listen to the uh, advice of the pilot uh, rather than Paul. Huh? All right, and then uh, because of your advice, wrong path. So as I say, very importantly in life, uh, if you go on the wrong path, it may be a disaster. Okay, so don't go on the wrong path. Make sure that every juncture, huh, the critical juncture, uh, junction, you make sure you make the right turn. You don't make the wrong turn. Huh? The wrong turn you get yourself to deep, deep trouble. It can be disastrous. Right? And even leads to death. Right? So, walk the right path. Okay? The path that is sound is good and you can manage. Okay? Let's move on. <coughs> when the job was sound we uh, well began to blow, they saw the opportunity, so the way anchor and sail along the shore. And before very long, the wind of hurricane came and caught the northeaster, swept down from the island. The ship was caught by a storm and could not be, and cannot be, cannot hit into the wind. So we gave way to it and were driven along. As we passed the lee of a small island called Kauga, and we were hardly able to make the lifeboat secure. So the men hoist it aboard, put the ship aboard, and then they passed through under the ship because they were afraid that they would run aground to the sandbar and they lower the sea anchor and let the ship driven along. We look, we took such a violent uh, battery from the storm that the next day we began to throw the cargo overboard. So the loss of cargo. And then on the third day they threw the ship tackle uh, that the back of the ship overboard with their own hands, something like that. Okay, uh, and some part of the ship at the back of the wheel. Uh. Uh, when neither sun nor star appeared for many days, traveling in darkness, life living in darkness and continue raging and we finally give up all for of himself. So because when he went to the wrong path, alright, so and then they continue accompanying the storm and encountering darkness in the life. Okay. Same thing here, when you read the wrong path, you experience darkness in the life. Okay? There are many days of darkness. And after they had gone a long time without food, not only darkness, without food. Paul stood up, cannot die already. 
and say, "Say, man, you should listen. You are taking my advice and not excuses for Greek." Uh, then you would have spared yourself the damage and the loss. See that you advise, right? Never listen to the advice. The result is suffer damage and loss. But now I urge you to keep up your courage because not one of you will be lost. Only the sheep will be destroyed. You see, uh, the most important thing is sometimes you took the wrong path. Okay, you make lot, you, you suffer losses. And okay, so it's okay to suffer material loss. Okay, but main thing, don't, don't go and work until you cannot sleep. All right, and then the one that injured the body and may even leads to death. Huh? So the most important thing is your soul, your life, your physical body. All right, don't injure your body and don't work until you die and don't work until you suffer stroke. All right, so I don't get overwhelmed by sickness. Sicknesses, okay. You, you just pray for God's power to help you. And don't be overwhelmed by all kind of attack the thoughts. Huh? Sometimes you have all kind of thoughts. You know, some people, uh, they, they go up here, go there, they scared of COVID. Okay, you say, uh, say I'm scared of COVID here and there. No, don't be too scared. Okay, don't have this thought. Don't entertain this thought. Alright? And, and don't go and uh, think of this. You know, this thing, oh, this signal, that signal. Don't, don't go think of it overwhelmed after you, you cannot manage. And then uh, just in the name of Jesus, set me free. Heal me, praise God. Continue to do God's work, and God can give you power and strength. Okay, so so the secret uh, of overcoming is just do God's work. Okay, otherwise, uh, the, the, the all these uh, demonic influence are uh, okay, attack your mind. You understand? Uh, then you become overwhelmed, and you worry about this, worry about that, and you cannot sleep, you cannot rest properly. Right now, just focus on doing God's work. Don't worry about all these diseases. Uh, not God will take care of them. You just leave what you can leave the best and on some advice. Because you worry all this will not solve the problem. No, no. You have to just know what is it and then handle it uh, the scientific way and above all pray and let God give you. Uh. So don't be okay. Then give your time to God. I don't know you you'll be worried about all these uh, all, all these things, unnecessary things, or maybe other things that overwhelm you and then make you very upset. Right. So serve God is the best. Alright, give your time to God and then all these things will not affect you. Uh, yeah, because you don't have for all this. Uh, yeah. Okay, but have enough sleep, eat healthily, go and exercise, alright, and take medicine if you need. All these are good things, these are not bad things. Uh. Alright, so uh, be wise. Uh. Okay, so you can see uh, the suffer damage and loss, right? I say that, I say sometimes we make mistakes, you know, it's okay, we learn from mistakes, but most important, don't injure the body. I don't hurt the body, right? Don't hurt the body, you don't hurt the body, you have a lot of problems. You my great today, you cannot study. That's why, you know, you want to read God, you don't really have to study. You know, right? You cannot do a lot of things, you cannot do it. But now I urge you to keep up the courage because not one of you will be lost. Last night, an angel of the Lord to whom I belong. And when I serve stood beside me, uh, the angel was beside Paul. Uh, I, I haven't experienced an angel beside me. <laughs> the Paul had experienced, yeah. you know. I haven't had an experience, uh, and an angel beside me. But Paul had the experience, right? Let's pray, yeah. Uh, uh, but but I've experienced not, not the most important, uh, but anyway, God can send angels to speak, uh, angel of the Lord, can be the Lord himself. Okay, and finally, okay, and he spoke, okay, he spoke with a solution and not spoke to discourage people. Huh? And then I say, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. Okay, God give the strength to die in a, in a, in a storm. Huh? And God has graciously given you the lives of all his saints. So, and these people are blessed, are protected because, you know, in Paul is the aeroplane, huh? the aeroplane will crash. And Paul in the ship, the ship will crash. So the people of him are saved. You know? Paul is there. People are not protected. Paul is protected. The rest. All right. So we are here to bless mankind. Yeah? All right. So we are there to be a great blessing to Joseph. All right. So, uh, all right. So, so uh, okay. Let's move on. And so keep up the courage, for I have faith in God that will happen as He told me. It's the best thing that He had to them. Possible get some of them safe, huh? Eh? <coughs> Nevertheless, we must run the ground. On the 14th night, say 14 day, eh? we were still being driven across the sea. 
and about midnight, the sealer sensed that they were approaching the land. They took, they took Saudi and found that the water was 120 uh, far deep. A short time later, when they reached there, it was 90 meters deep, so nearing the shore. And he attempted to escape from the ship. The sailor let the lifeboat down into the sea, pretending that they were going to lower some anchor <coughs> from the bow of the ship. And Paul said to Centurion and the soldier, Unless this man stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. So the soldiers cut the rope, then held the lifeboat and let it drift away. Just before that, Paul was them to eat. And for the last 14 days, he said, You have been constant suspense and I gone without food, yet haven't eaten anything. So you can see when you went the wrong path, you encounter a lot of problems. Uh. Okay, without food, you know, that, you know, all the crazy things are uh, overwhelming you. Uh. And then you feel that you are just uh, bombarded all around. Uh. So uh, I don't know whether you had experience. Uh, like every now and then, your mind has something like that. You tell me you are very overwhelmed with this, with that, and then you are very confused. Heavy mind, your mind is very heavy and then very tired. How many of you experience this kind of situation? Have you ever bombarded the mind until you blur and a lot of thoughts? Right? Okay. This one, uh, there are always cases of demonic influence. And tell you what, uh, you know, in this world, there is only God and Satan and the demons, right? So, and behind that, these are the, the two things the, the, the God and Satan. And either you are on God's side or Satan's side. There is no, no middle ground. You know, either Satan influence you or God influence you. Okay? Then, of course, your sinful nature is your choice. Huh? Alright? You will, huh? So, behind that, Satan. Even this war, huh? the Ukraine and Russian war, and behind, behind that, you know, there is a Satan. You know, the demons behind the war. Because when you see the Bible, you know, during the war in uh, Alexander, the Bible, behind that, there was a demon. Okay, during the Persian war, there was a demon. Right? In the Bible, right? The question brings, right? And then the vision brings. The one is the demon behind the scene. Alright? So you will not we'll catch you by surprise, okay? But you don't catch you by surprise because God is overall in charge of control. <coughs> okay. And then what happened? They had eaten. Uh, so you can't really be a uh, uh, and suffer gastric end. When they like, came and did not recognize the land, but they saw a bay, yeah, very really lonely, with sandy beach, and where they decided to run the ship around there, cutting loose and angle so there's some uh, knowledge huh, or the how the ship function at sea. And they left there in the sea and at the same time untied the ropes, united the ropes and helped the rudders and then they mustered the fossils, okay, the fossil uh, the okay, the, the claw, right? Okay, to win and make for the beach. But the ship stuck a sunbar. <coughs> and ran the ground. The bow is the front, stuck first, and not move, and then the stern, the stern near the back of the ship. Uh, a wood uh, to get it burnt, to start a fire, a viper, a snake, uh, 
driven up by the heat of casting itself on his hand. When another saw that the snake hanging around his hand, the man must be a murderer. For though he escaped from the sea, the, the goddess justly and not allow him to be. But Paul took the snake off into the fire and suffered no good effects. So he didn't, bitten by the snake. You know, uh, there was an extreme, uh, a group of people uh, somewhere maybe in, in America or where. Okay, uh, the church, uh, the Bible says, you know, uh, behold the snake, right? The snake will not bite you, right? In the book of Mark, right? So the, in the church, they practice or they bring the snake around, and then they see, see the snake will bite you. Yeah, funny, right? But we don't do that. You know why? After the snake will bite you. Right? Uh, that's why it says that in the event like this, uh, you go and get the wood, and the, the snake was there. You know? It's not happened to be there. God allowed the snake to be there to coil around the, the hand so that there was a miracle that he did die and through that uh, he came known to the people and they thought he was a god and then he knew the people. Right? So God allowed an event to happen not by chance but by coincidence to glorify his name and something that we can learn. Alright? And yet we saw the situation and he didn't die. Alright? But sometimes you have to know whether the event that occurs in your life is from Satan or not. You have to be able to listen. Not everything. I will not allow you to allow something. Allow you, yes, but you allow Satan to come and try. But you have, to, you have to watch out for that. Right? Because not everything yeah, that you experience is from, from God. Sometimes it's from Satan. You know? So you are able to listen. Huh? You will see, you know. So in the midst of this uh, journey, yeah, you will come to spiritual direction. Okay? And the people expected him to sell out suddenly and die for him. But after waiting a long time, <coughs> see nothing unusual happened to him, they changed their mind and said he was in God. There was an estate nearby belonged to Publius, uh, the chief official, and he welcomed them at the general hospital and stayed there for three days. And his mother was sick in bed, suffering from fever, and Paul and the and people went to see him and pray, he placed his hand on and healed him. Right? Because uh, God sent him there to heal the people, to save the people. Right? That's why I say he paid the price of going through a such somewhat shipwreck kind of situation, the storm, uh, in order to preach the gospel. So the high price to preach the gospel. It's not so easy. I mean, even the opportunity, please, huh? make full use of the opportunity, maximize the time there. Don't go waste time. Prepare well. Before you have to speak to that soul, the precious soul. Huh? And suddenly it's very precious. Every Sunday we can, right? It's a question, so very precious. I'd rather uh, seize the opportunity, right? Okay, yeah? So, and I don't waste the time, huh? maximize it. Because the some students they only come two times a month, three times a month, or once a month. You must catch them while they are around. I mean, you know, you waste the opportunity, you miss the opportunity. Okay, Psalm 41 say, Alright, Blessed are those who have regard for the weak, and for the needy, the Lord deliver them in times of trouble. The Lord will protect and preserve them, and they are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to what the desire of the enemy. The Lord will sustain them on their sick bed. God will heal them and restore them from the wickedness. Meaning to say, you want to destroy healthy, keep doing the works of God. If you stop doing the work of God, then all, all kinds of funny things will come. And then, uh, okay, say that I can't disturb you. Okay, keep yourself busy for the things of God. If not, uh, you are bombarded with this and that, uh, the Satan will come in. Right? And say that the empty mind is a devil will shop. Right? Uh, you see, uh, what do you do on uh, Friday, Sunday, Sunday? Either you what? At home, you watch movie. Was video, right? Or you play a game? And what else you do? Right now, if you're not doing good, yeah, home is too free, like you do, right? You might, you have to do something, man. I tell you, sleep, you cannot always sleep, right? You, you cannot, right? What, what you do, you can do your free time. What's, especially what's TV, right? What's movie, play a game, right? What else you do? You tell me all the time you study. You cannot be, right? Right now. So, I tell you, uh, if you occupy your time for God, finally join our cell group, alright? Hey, Mark Chop is on Zoom, no? Enjoy, right? But, uh, okay, there are, okay, there are people that get excited. I would answer in the church house regularly, so I'm seeing the investor, 
and uh, from the Junhan to join us, right? And uh, to join us regularly, of course, my family, yeah? And uh, so it is a wonderful time, right? And uh, you, you know why? You, you know why you'll be spending your time doing other things other than costing, right? Or, okay, sometimes in your work, you say, like, hey, you study an exam and all that. But other than what you do, play game, right? Or maybe uh, nothing wrong, I bring your dog out and walk. Uh, but not every time, but bring at the right time, bring during Bible study time. I don't know. I don't know. Bible study time, bring your dog out. I don't know. I don't know. Does that make sense, right? A Bible study time, go in and do other things other than among the, the things of God, right? Plan your time. Okay? So, uh, so you want to be blessed, alright? You must do God's work, okay? As I say again, you have only one life to live. Don't waste your time, okay? And, and don't put your right to worry about this. Man. Don't worry. You die, you die on. Because God's born in the ship, you never die, alright? Because God is inside the ship. No matter what storm, He won't die. He won't die, you won't die, correct? Because God, your life is the hand. Even a sinner, uh, even the bird to fall down, uh, the sparrow also needs God's permission. No? If a sinner die, uh, also must clear with God. Can, I, can this person die? No? Also must clear with God first. No? So, so don't worry, okay? Over this, worry that. And don't be so worried over the, 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 the mundane things of life. Oh, you know, I haven't cleaned my house. So suddenly I clean my house of time, so I'm going to come to church. You know what I mean? Why why pick on Sunday and clean your house? Right now. Right, why don't you do home shop on Sunday? Right now. Set aside the time for God. Right? And don't touch the time. Give it to God means give it to God. Go, go and touch where you do other things. Right? So uh, yeah, just give the time to God. Right? So this morning uh, until you know, I said to God, I'm not going to do anything. Just whatever time I have, just like similar and prepare the message. Right? Set aside and give it to God. Right? After that, then do other thing, do other thing, yeah? Alright? Okay, let's move on. And therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other. Okay, this one talking about bringing the others to heal, right? Okay, verse 9. Oh, the bring the other because Paul was there to heal them, okay? Okay, yeah? That's why the verse comes in. And when this happened, the rest of the sick on the island came and were killed, alright? When you are generous to bless God's kingdom, God will heal your sickness. God will bless you. Because why? when you give your money to God, uh, God may you not need to pay so many and so much medical fees. Right? Right? When you give your, your money to God, you give your time to God, right? God will help you. You don't have to waste so much time on your child, your child, your child, your pain, your pain, right? Right? Okay, just give that time to God and God will take care of you. Right? So you, you actually you, you save them, right? God protect you from uh, from all diseases, uh, sicknesses, and all these. Are. Not old age, uh, but even then you can keep you healthy and live the uh, right to old age. Uh, right? So that life, long life is a blessing. Alright? If you have to die at 45, you know, in the peak of your life, at the old son, uh, the Bible recorded the Eli's son uh, died in the peak of your life. Because when it is on the God, alright, they die in the war, okay, in the prime of the life, they die. Because when they live on the God, the on the God, you will have a lot of life, God will bless you. Okay, and they honor us in many ways, and so because of the living provision, right, they heal the people, and they honor them in many ways, they were ready to set sail, and they furnish them with a lot of supply. So, you say that when you do, do God's work, eh? faithfully, eh? God will bless you. Food, health, provision, you will do the best thing in life. Alright? You say, no, I want to save this lady, then you, you, you actually cannot save, but you actually lose more. Let's say you sick, eh? you pay more. Alright? You have to like you pay more. Alright? And then you, you, you do business, you make losses. And you do your job, you're not successful. You know what I mean? So if you take care of God's business, and God will make your God will bless you, make your heart straight for you. Alright? Yeah. Huh? yeah, you have to experience that. Really, really, uh, right? God will come through. Uh. You don't have to worry. As I said, really, we do God church. Remember one time uh, we, we didn't have money to pay every uh, the month. Uh, in, in last thing I remember that. We, we didn't have money, no. We, we, we 31st, uh, December, January, we will pay the one month uh, in advance. No. We should shop for that money. Then somebody came. Uh, and they learn how they must tell you it's for the church. Only money is for the rent, no? 
really expensive. Lot. So when you want to shift to Mulai Jagra and short of 10,000, right? Then what they got to? April, we're going to shift. February, somebody already signed a check of 10,000. Right? Then when the speaker comes, he said, Pastor Pei, this a check from my friend, huh? all right, 10,000. He said, when you sign the check, say February, or you need the money in April. Right? Go already prepare the check a few months ahead, no? and give it so that you can shift over to Mulai Jagra. You can see that. Provision. So, not only to, to worry about money, eh? when you do God's will, He will give you the provision. You don't do God's will, actually, you lose more. Okay? You find that you are paying more. There's a hole in your pocket. I don't know. Okay, yeah? Somehow, you to kind of say, is it real? You have to have faith. Because the Bible says, if you have faith, eh? you, got, you say that the God reward those who is generally uh, seek Him, right? You must have faith. And uh, it, it supply, it will bless you if you have faith. You don't think that this God man. In this life, by the way, how many believe that God is real? That's why you're here, right? God is real, you're here, right? But you must believe. You must, must believe that. You do it for His kingdom, He will bless you. You must believe that. Alright? Okay, you can experience yourself. I think I've been serving God for so many years. Right? And some my family, you know, don't, don't suffer needs. They're so blessed. Of course, we don't have a lot, but at least now, we don't have to even borrow, so called. So the Lord has been good and eh? please supply us. Like in this case, they do God's work, they have supply the journey. They don't have to worry. And after three months, we put out to the sea in a ship that winter in an island, and it was Alexandra, and the feet, the Figure here of the Queen God's husband. <coughs> By the way, yeah, this ship is traveled huh? for the figure here of the pagan gods. Huh? Right now. Hey, don't worry about this. Huh? It's beyond uh, the ship of the pagan god. Huh? You say you don't travel anywhere, you swim across. Huh? Right now, because you have to take the ship, right? Okay, remember when we were in uh, Sri Lanka, right? Where, you know, I got no place, no? and we use a uh, we use, uh, school. No? Small school, and behind me was the altar no, with the God there. They you there and preach, no, and you get people saved and seen. Right? You know, there was a whole place available of pack, a whole place pack, giant pack, I cannot move. <laughs> Alright? 50 over people in the, in the, in the room, no? in the small room, 50 over people. In the hilltop, right? It's a hilltop. Okay, let's move on. From there, we set sail the next day, the wind came and we reached uh, this place. Verse 14, then we found some brother and sister there, in brother us. And verse 15, the brother and sister there heard that we were coming and they traveled to meet us. Alright, at the site, I mean, and they thank uh, people, Paul, thank God. On the site of these people, uh, Paul, thank God, and was encouraged. When you got to Rome, now they finally arrived in Rome, right? Paul was allowed to leave by himself and be a soldier to guard him. Right? He was house arrest. And three days later, he called together the local Jewish leader, assembled, and Paul said that they came to visit him. Right? And my brothers, although I had done nothing wrong against our people, against the pastor, I was arrested in Jerusalem and then over the Romans. Came the price for preaching the gospel. <laughs> The Jew examined him and wanted him to believe, but I was not, not the woman's brother, said before the woman, right? The woman examined him and wanted to release him because he was not guilty or any crime deserving them. But the Jew was accepted, and so I was compelled to make an appeal to Caesar, and uh, I certainly did not intend to bring any charge to him for other people. For this reason, I have been asked to see you and talk with you because of the hope I am bound to be Because of preaching the gospel, I am in prison. They replied, we have not received any letter. So they, they did not say anything, they did not commit because they have not received any news from the headquarters of uh, Jerusalem or the Jews. Eh? So they are uncommitted to this case, they didn't say anything. Uh, verse 22, but we want to hear what you view, for we know that people have even been talking about this sect, eh? Nazareth, joining Jesus, and eh? Arabic. And the way to meet Paul is a certain day, came to visit him. A large number of the place where he was staying, right now the rest, 
and he leads us together. I share the gospel right morning to evening, explaining about the kingdom of God and from the law of Moses and from the prophet and to persuade them to believe in Jesus. However, some were convinced, some were not, and they disagree about them and begin to leave after Paul and make a statement that the Holy Spirit spoke. Okay, when the prophet go to these people, they will hear but not understand, and they will see but never perceive it. For these people, the heart are hardened. Okay, the word is hardened. You know, uh, last yesterday I was preaching on Isaiah, right? I say why people worship false God? Because their heart yes. are clean. Okay, the people that move into false religion, false worship, because their heart, their hearts are unclean. Okay. <coughs> Okay, let's move on. Otherwise, they may see with their eye and hear with their ear and understand with their heart to turn to God and I will give them. But therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentile and they will listen. For the two whole years, <coughs> Paul stayed with them in his own rented house and welcomed Paul who came to see him at the house of rest. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and talk about the Lord Jesus with all bonus and without hindrance. Okay, you have to understand that uh, the last verse, uh, you see that uh, you see the whole book of Acts, right, talking about the preaching of the gospel, right? And the missionary journey uh, is all about preaching the gospel and the price that is imprisonment. Okay, unfortunately, and uh, even the apostolic epistle uh, includes imprisonment. In prison, but he had only one purpose in that one motive. Whether he is in prison or prison, he preached the gospel. And he was in prison because of what? Because he preached the gospel. Okay, so that's a price that he paid. So whenever we have the opportunity to preach the gospel, we remember there's a price that. He may not be in prison, but he will cost him something. Alright? So there always must be a price to pay. Okay, uh, in conclusion, uh, okay, for what? I actually uh, conclusion you go to the summary of the chapter one to twenty six, right? Okay. Uh, the expert is not always right. Not everyone will accept good advice. Okay, we give advice to cause a loss of time, uh, it will cause you despair and material loss and uh, food and you will meet with disaster consequences and living in darkness and then but the mercy of God you preserve your soul and you repent when you turn away. And he was protected in chapter 28, he was protected from the snake bite and uh, even saved him from death. And uh, because God was with him, he healed the people and then he gave him provisions and many he healed and gave him the provisions so that set sales so that he has the provision. You know, when uh, when uh, three the Magi, right, they came to visit Jesus, right? And they bring them both silver and Palestine. So that one, the money is a provision for them to travel to Egypt. So, so uh, I mean, you do God's work, uh, there will be provision. God will give you the money. God will send the people to help you, all that. So now we are looking for people one by one, uh, little by little, uh, one by one, we are gaining ground, we are expanding the kingdom. So when the one soul came with zero in, you know, right now, I believe uh, what we are, what we are, you know, so like three times he came, I watched him very strong. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so this is what I put so under zero in. I personally not I'm taking care of her for the time. I said, I, I teach you one to one. Is that okay? Is that okay? And so, yeah, the Holy Spirit, huh? and she's comfortable. Alright? So, so I just want to bring her in and make zero in. And then I go and tower her. And then she become one of the whole team. Huh? All team. Alright? So, so one by one we are bringing in. That's how we can expand God's kingdom. I feel she's ever come back. And many more were here, and their needs were met, and shared the gospel recently. Okay, okay. Now I just give you a few of time. I give you a very brief uh, summary of chapter one to twenty six, right? But not in the on that just in theme, right? Okay. The book of the gospel, the book of Acts, say the main thing is God wants us to be empowered to restore His kingdom until He comes back. Remember, I mean, the gifts of the Holy Spirit will be kind of empowered them to speak in tongues. Any kind of spiritual gift and be willing to be martyr to die for Jesus Christ. Paul died for Jesus Christ. The first martyr in the next, I think, was Stephen, right? Stephen, right? 
after that following the James, the brother of Jesus. Alright? And those who come again, God and Herod was struck dead by the angel of the Lord. Alright? You know they cannot stroke, they were cannot struck dead. A worse than stroke, right? And he died. Alright, because uh, anyone uh, who came, okay, so basically the book of Acts uh, is to bear power to be witness for Jesus Christ. And we are here our soul mission by Paul uh, to save soul. Because when last last yesterday uh, I was preaching the Isaiah for here and then to to God uh, all the nations put together is a less than nothing. You know you know why you see that? Because in the context, uh, Babylon uh, the king and uh, he conquered all the nations. Uh, because they are very great and their God is so great. Uh. Even they talk about the idol, right? But actually behind the background, to them, uh, the King Babylon, uh, he conquered all the nations, uh, but he doesn't have God. God is saying that these are less than nothing. You know why? All the nations put together is not, cannot equal to the value of one soul. Okay? And for what reason? Jesus died on the cross for what? Souls. So we are here in the soul business. Winning soul, evangelism and discipleship. Okay, the great commissions. Alright, so that is what is the mission is all about. And the book of Acts, huh? now, this war is going on, the Russian and the Ukraine war. The one they will continue, huh? right? But the main thing you must continue to save so until Jesus Christ come back. And God gives this power to be because when there's demon, there's sinful nature. And we need the power and the word of God. Okay, and the power of the Holy Spirit to do that effectively. And live a, a life of love. Because this morning I didn't share, right? The triumph, how to triumph over Satan? The cross, that is love. Die on the cross. Love, okay? Love will melt the hardest heart, right? That's when you sacrifice, meeting their needs, and loving them, you can bring them to the kingdom of God. Love will defeat Satan, will defeat the hardest heart, right? So love is the greatest. So you can see, yeah, the, the, the empowerment, that's what I said. Continue to be a part to restore the kingdom until the rapture. The second meter, which is not very far from now. Alright, and then we know that the God struck dead the Sapphira and Ananias because my improper giving. Okay? The, the whole life, right? Because that one will jeopardize the mission. Because that one is the model. Okay? And God is serious about giving for mission. So God is very serious about that from the start, right? Because this one will jeopardize his kingdom, so called. The kingdom needs money. Right? And to do it. But a lot of people go back. You know, Paul, after planting many, many churches, right? And then in Acts chapter 15, he said, more blessed to be there. He said, yes, people have to walk with his hand. Because not many churches are giving. And then many people are giving to the kingdom of God. But in the days of judgment, the Lord will hold everyone accountable. How much are you a steward of the money that you do? Right? So as we give to God, God will bless us. Huh? We don't need to be afraid of that. Huh? So you can see, yeah. Uh, that's why Paul went to collect money and give the people sing in Jerusalem. Okay? Right? So he is working very hard to collect money. But not many churches are giving. Okay? And not many people are giving. Because like, in the Philippian church, right, the one very close to him said, You have supplied many people in prison. Right? Many people are supplied many supply in this thing. Okay? Not, not many churches. Philippian church. Right? So there are not many people that are giving. Right? But we need to give because when Safara and I was struck with the Lord, we found probably giving. Because they didn't give, you know. They did give, you know, but even also they're not stuck with Because they're not serious about mission giving, right? They want to just uh, get a name for themselves and so called give a name for them. But actually, it was a lie. Okay? And, and then the persecution will lead to grow at uh, the contact of this group of acts. So there will be marvelous go under severe persecution. Huh? And uh, so, uh, you live according to the science of And the angel not struck dead like Herod because he executed James, the brother of John. Okay, so there was a result, there was also a conflict between Paul and Barnabas, okay? And uh, differences are real, alright? Differences are real, so this one is, 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 is there, okay? But you might not know how to handle it. And Paul was stoned uh, and possibly had a paradise experience, okay? Let's go on to the uh, next slide. And still went back, and then he went back to share with the uh, people, uh, uh, iconic people. And the heaven is too good to be, sir. And he paid a high price. And now for many months, he is, he is by ship and travel. The Macedonia call about 600 kilometers or more. And then just to push the gospel. He skipped uh, Asia to be near as well. Peter to do it. 
and the, because of the obedience, uh, the gospel was spread to the West, the Western Europe, and to America, and so on. Uh. So you can see the gospel move west, and now move west to Israel. Okay, and we move out to Israel to bring in the return of Jesus Christ. Right. So now we are close to that. Uh. And then when he started the church in uh, Philippi, he met a, a business woman or Tatara, uh, Lydia. Okay, and this lady was a modern salvation and used a house for house church. And uh, okay, after planting many churches, he still moved in both men. Uh, and while he was doing God's work, there's a threat of his life that God has protected him. Uh, and we need to go through much persecution and hardship, uh, the necessary as a cleansing process, cleansing of our soul, purifying process, and sanctifying process. And lastly, <coughs> accusation by the Jew and Satan. Look at the address and the protection of the path to Rome, the suffering journey, the imprisonment, the opportunity to share the gospel and salvation of soul. You can see. So you can see the book of Acts, the Paul carrying the death of Jesus is dying daily. Dying daily means that they have died on the cross. I mean, sacrificial love for the people. And so, the missionary journey is the journey of the cross. Right? And this missionary journey had a high price tag, including imprisonment, beaten with rocks and stone. Right? And almost died. And then uh, he was beheaded, right? And that was the end. We have one thing through all these hardship and persecution and difficulties. Uh, one thing. The treasure is the opportunity, the prison opportunity is to preach the gospel and save that soul. You see? So you can understand uh, the significance of souls uh, and that's our investment in God's kingdom. Uh. So the greatest is saving souls. Wherever we go, whatever job good is the ambassador for Christ to save so the ministry of reconciliation. That is our ministry of saving souls. Right? So I hope you can see uh, Okay, the, the important significance are uh, investing in God's kingdom. And blessing God's kingdom. Blessing the soul. Alright? So, uh, alright? So, praise God. Please come uh, for the Good Friday. Uh. Nowadays, uh, even uh, Good Friday, we have it on afternoon. Uh, the 15th of April, afternoon 4.15. Uh. Of course, after that, why do you have to go for your dinner? Right? Nearby, but you know, can I have food here? Uh? You know? Okay, let's uh, close in prayer. Today we are here, you say, God, I'm prepared to pay the price to share the gospel. I'm prepared to pay the price to invest in the kingdom. Alright, as Paul has suffered many, many things, and we live with the hope to preach the gospel and save you. So today you are here, say, God, I have only one life to give you a treasure this life. I want to maximize the opportunity and pay the price. You save so much to invest in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. Anyone? Yes? Yes? Any others? Alright. Now you pray now. Huh? Okay. Okay, thank you for all of them, especially the two hands. The race. And yeah, signify that the Lord be one to uh, invest in the kingdom and uh, treasure the opportunity to preach the gospel. Lord, I pray that you, you empower them and you trust them to the opportunity and uh, get the, uh, the strength uh, to go through the, the, dif the difficulty and the challenge to reach the soul and do it effectively and do it well for the glory of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for your richest blessing to all of them, especially those who have been in the game and the game Mr. Jane and Mr. Cynthia, Lord, you know their needs and touch them and uh, thank you them completely or whatever uh, Needs to be have, especially health needs, not just a master. We need to see the immune system, or the big spell, hallelujah, or whatever needs about cholesterol needs, whatever needs, this is the immune system, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, and the eyesight needs, whatever you want to touch on you, I'm going to bring forward to you. Praise the Lord. Jesus name, pray for them. Amen. 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 Amen.